Good afternoon, YouTube. This is EM About Moose Reviews. I'm coming back to you with another Battle Box opening. So I apologize, I've been kind of away for the last month or so. Uh, some of us uh, essential workers had to go back to work and actually start earning those unemployment checks for everybody else. So you're welcome. So coming back to you, it's uh, the 20th of June. It seems like every month we have a different craziness going on. Now it's riots. So uh, don't know if the Battle Box stuff has caught up quite yet with some of the riot stuff, but we will see. Uh, I've already cut off all the tape, so let's get right into it so we can see what they have. There's nothing's quite as attractive as trying to screw around with tape on camera, especially with someone's uncoordinated. All right. Well, opening it up, looks like we've got uh, the very first thing is Netflix Survival Series, The Southern Survival. Uh, looks like it comes out July 3rd. So maybe something worth worth watching now that we are post-COVID Tiger King watching, post-Waco watching, post-whatever it is else that we're supposed to be watching. So maybe something to look at. All right, so, ooh, lots of goodies. Fun for the kids. Looks like it's uh, Mission 64. It says it's June, and spring is upon us. We hope all is well. Spring? It's 107 degrees today. I think June is a little past spring. Um, but it's okay. We'll, we'll give them a, a slight credit for that. So going through all of this stuff, it just says, hey, look, a couple months, and we're chomping at the bit to let you know what things are going on for awesome announcements, but you'll have to wait just a little longer. So let's get to the Mission 64 box. So I'll go ahead and kind of post that up for everybody so you can see just what the basic, advanced, and the Pro Plus box is supposed to entail. All right. So going into the basic value, it doesn't really, it doesn't look like it has a theme for the month. Sometimes they do theme months, but it says, uh, First one up is the Going Gear Micro Stove, which is this little puppy. So I actually already have two of these. Um, I actually have one, uh, but the other one is a um, jet boil. So really fantastic to put on for a butane stove and camp cover. You put it on there, light it, take it, and it burns hot. So that it, with a little, uh, push this out. So the nice thing about these versus something like a jet boil, you can actually put larger objects on there, so like a pot or a pan. Um, and if, as you saw from the size, it's pretty diminutive. So you can actually get away with fairly small, and then there's a little regulator you put on there to turn up the butane or not. So I have them, I've used them before. Never a bad idea to have a second thing. So our next second stove, um, you know, two is one, one is none. So that's like 15 bucks, according to this thing. That's about what I paid for it, I think, a couple of years back. So not bad. Already good uh, for camping if you're not in a non-communist state that doesn't allow you to leave anywhere. Uh, next one up is the Glow Cow Rechargeable LED Headlamp. All right. So headlamps, for those of you who haven't got in on this craze, are fantastic. Um, I've... We use them for the military a lot because they're hands-free. Uh, the ones that I use typically have a red, red lens, so they don't kind of give away your position. Let's see if the batteries are in. Oh, they are in. Um, so yeah, LED switch. Oh, there we go. It switched to the different functions on the light. All right, red lens, I'm good. That's annoying and will definitely get me seen. Um, I do like the fact that it's LED rechargeable. So for those of you who try and pack with solar panels, uh, especially like the Goal Zero Nomad series. Really great idea to have one of these to go along just because it helps top off that battery box uh, without having to carry like 16 AA batteries. Don't know what the, okay, here we go. It says five modes, wave sensor, white, uh, red LEDs. It can go up to 20 hours of runtime per charge. So not bad because it's about 20, 24 hours is what you get out of the AA version. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Always good to have some extra lights going around, especially as summertime comes up and we might have rolling blackouts depending on where you're at. So that was supposed to be $24.99. That's probably about what I'd spend in the store for one. I know you can get some battery powered, AAA battery ones for about 15-ish. So I'd be willing to spend that. So the next one is a Hero Plus Healer 36-inch flat pack splint. 
So for those of you who have not used one of these before, I'm not gonna actually open this up because I actually wanna keep it in its packaging until I need it. These are phenomenal. So one of my kids ended up uh, busting her elbow and they used this and an ace bandage as the splint for it instead of doing a cast. So something you could take off. Fantastic, they're really lightweight. The, the best part is they're reusable. So you can reuse these things. Um, they hold their shape really well. So if you don't have some of these, especially for you going out hiking and camping, which kind of seems to be the theme right now, just from what I'm looking at, highly recommend. Uh, and for these are 10 bucks MSRP. Yeah, I'd, I'd buy that for, for 10 bucks. So, so far pretty good. Again, this is all the basic package so far. Looks like we've got, oh, this one looks like it got damaged in delivery. It is the NOSC nasal filter. All right. Apparently this is supposed to be easy to breathe and it's supposed to be for allergens, I think. Yep, dust, pollen, allergy solution. So I'm supposed to take this and shove it up my nose hole. I can't really All right. see it. Well, that's fantastic to, to feel. Um, oh, good Lord. Well, I think it, I, I don't know. I don't know quite what to think about that. Um, I don't typically suffer from allergies, but my camera lady, also known as my beautiful wife, uh, does. So maybe that'll help. I feel bad that it's kind of How do you sterilize destroyed. it? It doesn't say about sterilization. That is a good question. But apparently you shove it up far enough into your nose and it's supposed to just breathe as normal. It's reusable, easy to breathe. Oh, consult a physician. Don't use it if you've had nasal surgery. Uh, or any condition related to nose or nasal cavities or sinuses. Uh, keep out of reach of children. What the hell is a kid going to do with that? I mean, I mean, never mind. These things are big enough. It might go up to their brain. But then again, if we're doing these whole COVID tests, bugger it. It's just the same thing. So, I mean, it might be worth taking with you if you're backpacking. Somebody who likes to go hiking and, and instead of carrying a boatload of Benadryl. Um, again, apparently the this didn't make it, but that's all right. That was that was a five ninety nine value. So you're looking about for the what they said for the package is fifty eight ninety six, and then they also threw in the last part was a KN ninety five mask. Cool. All right. So it's a knitted mask. Looks like it's reusable because of that. Fits around the ears and nose because you know sign of the times. Um, you look like the Tin Man, but the front version. <laughs> all right, my camera lady says I, I look beautiful. Um, apparently, it's a $3 value that they give to us for free. Well, thank you very much. Um, it is breathable. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, with a filter, you probably want it to be a little less breathable, but thus far, it feels pretty good. Yeah, that's going to be fun, especially, as I said, it's 100 and some odd degrees out. I think I'll just uh, uh, risk the COVID. So that finishes up the Battle Boxes. Basic one again, $58.96. Not too bad. Uh, the next one going up to the advanced portion of the box is the SOG Snippet Multi-Tool. So unlike other multi-tools where they've got a pair of pliers as it, the primary tool in the middle, it looks like this one is scissors. It's also got a toothpick, a small knife, a bottle opener, or a jewelry driver. Why you need a jewelry thing out in the field, I don't know. A uh, flathead screwdriver, a fingernail file, which again, odd, and then tweezers, which believe it or not is a good deal. But if you've never had the opportunity to use SOG and always use Gerber or um, Leatherman, I, I highly recommend them. They're really good quality stuff. It does not appear to come with some kind of carrying case at all, but... Open it up. Let's pull it out and find out. See, it's, it's all these new toys you get to play with. So for those of you who are still kind of on the fence with whether or not you want to purchase a box of some sort, be it this one or one of the competitors, so far I like them. They still are fun and it's still nice to get a little thing of gear um, every month and it's something to look forward to. So yeah, nothing to carry it with, but Looks like pretty good set of scissors. There's no spring tension, so there's nothing to help keep it open. So you will actually have to pull it open and, and shut it that way. But 
Well, now I see why they didn't include a carry case. Oh, but it does have a little click knife, so that's not bad at all. Looks like it's got a little uh, measure on the side that you can actually go and pull it open, and it has a length, like a little uh, ruler on the side. So I guess if you're taking fishing, that's would be a good thing. So anyway, they say that this is a twenty nine ninety five value. I'd, I'd buy that for a dollar, especially with the little paint clip. That's not too bad. Another little toy to keep when I'm out in the box. And then we go, keep going through. Okay, so the next one is the pro value. So that's gonna be, it jumps the value up to $148. And that's with the SOG Camp Axe and the Green Sheath. So, that's awesome. So, I, I'm a big fan of having a good sharp, sharp tool while hunting or- He still got your face off. Yeah, just get a little facial restructuring. So, SOG usually comes pretty well sharp out of the box. I wouldn't say it's the most sharp thing I've ever played with, but then again, with a camp axe, you don't need it to be razor sharp. It's more likely to get stuck in the wood. Um, the thing I like about this one is that it's got the hammer end on the back end for uh, camp, uh, camping stakes. So, and then SOG usually makes some pretty good quality sheaths to put your axe in so it can keep that blade nice and sharp. And also keeps it from unintended consequences like, I don't know, children. But, pull that up and over. Still hold, feels real nice. It's got a little bit of heft to it. Uh, I have a SOG Tomahawk I got as a gift, and this, it has this uh, plastic, I'm gonna be in here, bounce off my ring. But it's got a little plastic handle. Seems to be really good quality. Uh, it's not as heavy as a hickory handle should hold up to some abuse, but I'm hoping to do some camping once all the parks open up and we'll give it a try. So yeah, so far pretty pleased with the box. Again, this is, now this one's a bit more expensive. This is a $60 value. I know that uh, currently I was able to find a Gerber Field Axe. It's very similar in nature, a little bit bigger in terms of the axe length for about $20 less. But then again, Gerber, it's, you know, sometimes the quality I found is hit or miss, but Still, I like it. In worst case, if it doesn't go in my pack, it'll probably go in that beautiful lady behind the camera's hat pack. You know, again, going with the adage, two is one, none is, one is none. All right, so we cleaned all that out. That was pretty quick. And then the final one is the Knife of the Month Club. So this is a Pro Plus Knife of the Month Club. It is a Buck and Bear Titanium flip, Flipper Damascus Steel Knife. And it's putting the value of it at $129. Well, this better be a really nice knife to, for $129, because I know I can get a really good Benchmade or really good knife uh, from a different company for that kind of price. Let me pull it out. All right, so nice little case, little foam case. I don't know if I'd keep it in there. It's kind of a super protective. If it's made of really good steel, why do you need a super padded knife case? So the blade is Damascus steel, Ooh, flips nicely. I'll go ahead and show that out to the camera so you all can see some of the waves in the, in the blade edge. So I've always found Damascus steel to be very interesting. Initial impressions on quality of it, uh, it feels really sharp, which is always a good thing. Um, it's got a pretty decent flip to it, so you do have to put a good good amount of pressure on it to get that blade to come out, but it locks really secure. Doesn't feel chintzy at all, like it feels like it's actually a good piece of kit, but it's very, very light, uh, comparatively speaking. Um, so I do like that aspect of it. So let's try, see if it's got a decent edge or not. It's a little bit thicker than a sheet of paper, but didn't put much downward pressure on it. Not a whole lot. Maybe I'll have to give it a little bit of run through to the wet stones real fast, but I don't think it is dull by any means. Would I pay $129 for it? No. But that being said, if, if it really is a $129 knife and you're getting it with a package where it's 150 bucks for all of this, pros and cons, you know, not bad, but very pleased. So just a quick re recap of everything that came with. So we got the little camp stove, good good stuff to have anyway. I'd buy it anyway. Uh, LED light, buy it anyway. Allergy stuff, probably wouldn't buy it, but 
funky, cool, I'll try it out, see what happens. N95 mask, I think we've all had a, a very heavy supply of these already. Uh, the split, absolutely would buy already. Um, so pretty good, pretty excited about that. And then little snipper tools, probably wouldn't have got it, but you know, again, with the kind of theme, looks like a camping slash emergency for your survival kind of stuff. So having these to help cut through clothing or having just a decent pair of scissors, knife out in the field, not bad. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is, I'm actually kind of interested on some of this. There you go. Especially a little pair of tweezers. So if those of you have ever used a Swiss Army knife and had these fall out and never found the damn tweezers again, um, which I know never happens, but that's actually pretty nice to have is something where it's actually retained. So, and it's interesting because it splits the center. So this little uh, scissor piece actually splits the center between the two, um, the screwdriver and the, the uh, tweezers. Then on the other side, when you pull it up, it's got a knife, a wicked looking toothpick, and that can opener slash jewelry tool. So again, for what this was valued at, I think this was like, what, 30 bucks? Yeah, not bad. Camp Axe, already told you I'd buy one, so good to go. Bottom line, very pleased with the box. I think it would be fun for camping. I just think it's going to be one of those things where I actually have to get out and test it. If you like what I had to say here, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, know that I will answer your comments as quick as I can. If you have any videos that you would like me to do with regards to either boxes, survival, prepping, anything like that, I'd like to get back into it now that we're kind of coming back from some of the craziness in the world. And by all means, drop an idea in the comment line, and if I can do it, I will absolutely do it. Thanks again, stay safe, and we'll see you next month.